One down and 351 to go. Like giant Lego pieces, the first pylon for the Sky Rail was gently slotted into place at Murrumbina last night, avoiding any chance of local protests. It weighs 56 tonnes and stands 6.7 metres. They'll be placed every 40 metres, supporting Sky Rail between Caulfield and Dandenong stations. We've reached a, a major milestone on this critically important public transport and infrastructure project for Melbourne and Victoria. The opposition questioned the late night operation. Well if the government thought this was uh, so well accepted by residents, it beggars belief why they put the pylons in, in, in the middle of the night under the cover of darkness. Locals are split like over SkyRail. Well, I would prefer if it was underground, but it's going to be overground, so we might as well make the most of it. It'll be interesting to see how imposing it is once it's there. It's hard to imagine it at the moment. Once SkyRail is complete, there'll be 22 and a half hectares of public space on the old line and a bike park between Caulfield and Dandenong. And the opposition is threatening to use its numbers in the upper house to block the Western Distributor Toll Road if the government doesn't reveal all the funding details. We want to make sure that Victorians are getting the best deal possible. Labor doesn't have a good track record of putting these deals together. The Minister says the opposition is threatening thousands of jobs and a much needed second river crossing. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.